Look, say hi. 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 Hey guys, we're Justin and Alicia, and today we have kind of a different video for you. Today we are going to show you how to put on the Ponsetti boots and bar, and this is, um, like I said, a different kind of video for us, but one that we wish we had had when Isaiah first got his boots and bars. We are not by any means medical professionals. Well, some of us aren't. Mama. This Some is a disclaimer, us. neither Mama. one of us are. Some of us could be. <laughs> <laughs> could be does not equal Mama. good. Isaiah, where are you? Isaiah, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Huh? <laughs> Stinker. Does he have a diaper? Uh, He's stinking. We're gonna change his diaper and we'll be right back. Oh, oh wow. Buddy, boy. I hope you don't think I'm doing this. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Today we're gonna show you the Ponsetti Boots and Bar. And How we... to put it on, install it, and give it a tune up. Right, Isaiah? Hi. <laughs> Hi. So this is Isaiah. He's almost 16 months old. And he has been. You wanna go in the playroom? So Isaiah. Isaiah has been in Boots and Bars for eight months now. So while we are not medical professionals whatsoever, not at all, no way, we have been doing this for eight months. Are you going to cooperate? No. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, it'll have the buckles on the inside. This is the Ponsetti. <laughs> This is daddy's way to do it. This is daddy's <laughs> way, the only way to do it. Right, buddy? Right. Okay, so you wanna make sure his sock is completely pulled up because if it's not, he will get some blisters and it'll rub and stretch his foot. That's so yeah, we were told yeah. to um, stretch his feet. And so for us, that's what we had to do before we put it in. But obviously do whatever your doctors have asked you to do before you put his foot in the boot. All right, so we kind of stretch it out and then slide it in. Make sure through this hole that his heel is completely at the back. Wait, hang on, let me go get some different colored socks because it is really hard to see. We have switched to a lighter colored socks so that you can see a little more easily. All right, so we get the heel set back in. Just like you would if you were wearing a pair of boots, as far back as you can get it. Take this flap and put it over while you're holding his heel in the back. Then you always, we always start with the middle. Yeah. Oh, and this is swing. Cooper. It's Cooper. Around, I my head. He did? He bumped your head? Well, go get my keys. We better get to the doctor. Yeah. Aren't you hurt? Well, we better go to the doctor real I'm quick. A, get your I'm shoes on. Yeah. Oh, you all? Well, go be tough. See, so always start with the middle one because you want to keep that heel all the way back into the boots. Yeah. I you don't, don't have to buckle don't. it first. You just get the tightness right. on here because you may end up adjusting. It doesn't really matter which other one you do as far as what we were told. Our doctor who fit us for these put markings on ours so that we kind of have an idea of where he was. Um, they're not always the same because it kind of stretches and his foot changes that. Then you can buckle them after you got all three. It's a little easier to do it that way. And also, before you buckle, you should check and make sure everything is down smoothly. A lot of times the tongue of the shoe will kind of bunch up. And so you want to make sure that is flat and there are no spots where it's bunching. Also, once you have it done, give the sock a little pull at the bottom and the top just to make sure that there are no wrinkles in the sock because any wrinkle can cause a blister. I'm gonna do this other one. Another way to do it is from this position. And this is the way the, this is the, way the doctor showed us to. So you can either have him laying down or sitting in someone else's lap, but you use his knee to kind of push. So you have his knee in a right ankle and then his foot here, and that just puts his foot automatically in the right position to go into the boot. 
then you take the boot in the other hand and you scoop his heel and you just slide it down the boot until it's in the back. And you can see I kind of hold on to his foot the whole time. So that you're holding it in that position. You slide it down and you're still kind of putting pressure to hold it back while you hold the bottom of the shoe. And then you take your other hand and with this hand you're holding his foot in place. And your other hand you fold the tongue across and then that's when I let go with this hand and I'm holding pressure with the right hand now and making sure that everything is down flat and then continuously yeah. keeping that pressure or else the heel will slide and then put the buckle on. Then I check and make sure the tongue's down and then it's easy to do the next two. Just always checking to make sure everything is on there straight and no wrinkles. And then I can see that I should tighten this one one more, so I'll go back and tighten it. And then I'm going to buckle. Check the sock. Yes, thank you. And then you check the heel to make sure that it's in the back. Okay. And this is, this is. once you have both of the boots okay. on, you take the bar. And again, from if I were Isaiah looking at it, you should be able to read Ponsetti. You slide it in, and it'll click. Same with this one. And then that's it. And then to take it off, you push while pulling the bar. And when you're taking it off, um, do we were told to do just like when you put it on, you start in the middle. When you take it off, you start in the middle. Cause that's the main point of pressure. Well, come here. Come here. Say hi. 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 With doing it in the position that I was holding him, where you have that knee at the right angle, it also, if he's crying, if he's throwing a fit, if he doesn't want to put him on, you're actually using his leg movement and his kicking to push his foot down into the boot. So he's working to help you instead of against you, even though he's kicking. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah was born with bilateral club feet. He's got spina bifida and he had fetal surgery when he was 25 weeks. When I was 25 weeks pregnant. He's been through a lot, but he's such a fun baby and so happy and and he's doing really good right now. All the surgeries have just been very successful. When your kid's diagnosed with something like this, it's kind of scary. And everything, even putting boots and bar on for the first time is pretty scary. But, and I did YouTube it and look for someone showing me how to do it. When you're in the doctor's office, it seems so easy and you're like, yeah, I can do this. And then you get home and you have to do it yourself and your baby's crying because he doesn't want to put the boots on for the first time. And you know, it's scary. So we hope that this gives you a little reassurance that you're doing it the right way. <laughs> hey. Hey. This is a little different than the videos we normally put out on this channel. We also have three-year-old triplets, and so we are just a lot of crazy yeah. <laughs> and a lot of fun. Hi. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. It is bedtime. He's not it usually this fussy. We put the boots and bar on before bed because now he's just sleeping in it. Yeah. Um, so it's bedtime. Yep. So if you like, if you like what you see. <laughs> 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 like and subscribe and we would love to hear from you if you want to see more of our family subscribe we'll talk to you later bye bye